Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Game Zone. So with the major update that is coming, there are a lot of changes coming with the warband here and uh, is it going to be worth it? Let's get into it. So instead of our previous warband camp, it is going to completely get removed and instead we are going to get a new castle which is going to be Sea Wanger and there are going to be two modes here with the new castle here and the warband exploration experience will replace warband camp and introduce two replayable game modes along with passive bonus that can be upgraded as you can secure and defend your castle so we need to defend our castle and we can do two modes in this warband major update and what i have heard is to defend the castle we don't need eight player party we can just do that with two warband players so we don't have to do that with eight players we can do the castle defend thing with two players which is good and then what we have here is before moving further into the specific of castle so Wenger, we want to introduce large scale improvement to how warband will function a big part of this patch feature new modes, unique rewards and more progression system focus on the warband. Additionally, we want to remove all the major pain points players have expressed about warbands while simultaneously providing better rewards for players who choose to take part. So they actually removed the requirement to make a camp which was like 10,000 kill monsters. They have removed that as well we have lowered the threshold for warband heliquary so instead of eight player warband raid we can now just do that with four player of warband party and we can choose random players to complete our party to eight so that's good and now that in when the weekly start you will have a four percent chance to drop a rare increase of shield sealed warband chest so it is going to be like 100 percent that you will get when you're playing with the warband party which is good i think then to begin the quest to bring the castle sirwanger under your warband banner you must be at least level 20 be part of a warband and speak to the well it's just in west marsh Rackis plaza that uh, the warband guy castle sirwanger contain three main areas of emphasis for players to engage with purging the depth warband rooms and defense of the sirwanger which we can do with two or eight players of warband party which is going to be good so there are going to be actually 16 room in the castle and uh, from which we can choose one and they will provide uh, unique bonuses which we do not know about right now so there are going to be total of 16 rooms and each player can uh, use one room to get a bonus so that is how it's going to be and you can do those with two player party or eight player party which in my opinion will going to be really good and we will be able to do those activities without any problems, I hope. Alright, upon arriving at Castle Sivanger, your warband will realize that there are still some unwanted occupants taking up position in the castle balls. You must purge them from your new home. So this is going to be a new home, the castle, which we, we have to defend, yeah. Alright, as you press insurate and if we serrate your way through the rooms of undead threats, you will come across reckless spirits that are bound to rot here for all eternity. It's up to you to set them free by first defeating them, serving the connection with their tormented vessels, then cleansing their remnants. Each of the remnants provide unique bonuses that are applied to your character. So there are total of 16 rooms with each unique bonuses. Alright, and we can use one for our character. Alright, you can traverse the randomized dark underbelly of Castle Sirwanger alone or with alone. We can do that alone or with up to 
seven other warband members and many times as desire so this is actually good not only two we can just do that with uh, i mean we can just go alone there that's good that's really good once you clear your castle of unwanted guests additional room will be become available for you and your warband members to occupy each room has its own variety of unique bonus that is provided to the occupant who occupies which room is up to you uh, up to your warband reader leader all right so so the warband leader will be assigning us those room and we can actually ask which one we want that's not a problem they can assign an unassigned player at will a player is still able to unassign themselves from a warband room at any time player will receive the benefit of their room for as long as they occupy it but cannot occupy more than one room at a time all right uh that's understood understandable i mean warband rooms can be upgraded by placing remnants received from purging the depth of the castle the ranger doing so will provide their suspected room with this additional bonus so we can make our bonuses much stronger all right that's good now that your warband has re no waited renovated castle syringer and settled in world has word has gotten back to the armies of the burning hills who want the stronghold for themselves they are coming in full force so you need to work in unison with your warband to hold back the infernal tide of the dem demonic destruction head is straight for your castle front gate so we need to defend our castle i wonder if we will get the alert that our castle has been attacked and one of the warband member has to go in and defend the castle or it's a weekly thing or time thing you know we will know and then there are two modes standard mode can man, can be played once a week so maybe this is a once a week thing play must withstand it waves of bloody thirst blood thirsty demons if your war band successfully staves off the hell spawn you receive reward and experience for holding the line firm all right then there is a angelus mode here and it's a it is connected with the leader board so whoever does the highest wave will unlock a portrait frame for the war band all right then that's that for the castle and ancestral weapons purging the depth of castle zeringer and defending it from an assault by playing this standard or endless mode you have a chance to find an ancestral weapon to harness the power of these weapon place them into your ancestral tableau located in the heart of the castle once placed ancestral weapon will confer a portion of the attributes such as strength intelligence vitality on to all members of your party members each war member can only place one ancestral weapon in the tableau so this is the tableau and each player will have a option to put his uh, weapon type or ancestral uh, ancestral weapon the strongest the weapon the more buff we will get i guess and everyone has to do their own effort to make the tableau more effective i guess so i guess if we can do that solo individually all these things to make the tableau uh, more stronger we don't have to go all together to work for the ancestral weapon if that is not the case then this warband update is going to be actually really good then each warband member can only place okay so work together with your fellow warband member to assemble the best ancestral weapon you can find to power up all warband members the action of placing uh where is it placing items into your ancestral tableau and providing a portion of their attributes to all member of your warband does not require anyone else but yourself to be online all right in addition to the bonus attributes you can also call upon special power from the warband ancestral weapon while donning invocation gear while participating in castle activities gear that drops has a chance to possess an additional invocation property invocation gear can 
be equipped to your character in its respective item slot to receive the benefit of the trigger the ability of your ancestral weapon mix and match your invocation gear with the ancestral weapon of your choice to further customize your build so these are going to be unique uh buffs which we can get and we are able to mix match them but we are still able need to see what are they and how effective they are if they are just going to be like family buff then it's going to be useless so not really excited before i say it with myself i mean by myself for example your instructional weapon might provide the property deal lightning damage to surrounding enemies when combined with an Invocation such as chance to trigger your ancestral property when you deal damage, it results in combined ability. Alright. So we can do a combo thing and we if we find the best combo with our build style, then it will be more effective. But still we have to see what sort of uh, bonuses that we can get through the war man and if we can just do them without a party or with just two players in warband then it's really good having not to play the warband activities with full party is going to be really good and if you require all eight for all these activities then it's going to be a nightmare which i hope is not is not the case and us going alone in the castle defending or going to this room is good and playing these mods with with less than eight players is also going to be good and i guess everyone has to do the effort to make the ancestral weapons more stronger you cannot do it for the others and you all all you have can do is upgrade your own ancestral ancestral weapon and make it stronger so everyone has to do their part and i hope we don't need uh, a eight party mem uh, team to do all these activities otherwise it will be really hard anyways these are the changes coming to the warband and i think this these looks actually really good the only concern i have here is i hope we don't need eight party to do these all activities to work for the for the ancestral weapons or the room thing the room thing we can do solo but this one is not clarified properly here Super. so we will see anyways this is it for the video for the power band that is looks promising and i will see you guys in my next one until then take care and bye guys have fun